you could become a womanizer by having this main girl that you love so much. You Well, not love, because you don't technically love if you're treating her like that. But, you know, that's there, that's your main chick, but you have other women. Mm -hmm. And you're, you you could be using them for things. You like financial purposes, yeah, you know. Purpose. Everything, you I know. It could purpose. be different reasons why he might have no. these women, might not just sex. I heard something in what you said when you said, you know, she's okay with him treating her like that. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like that is mistreating a woman if it's a man who he doesn't want to have a relationship, he has multiple women that he deals with in um, in different ways on different levels. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that is mistreating the women? Like no, that? I mean, or do you feel like it's negative for, for a woman to be a part of something like that? I think that it's only disrespect. I, I, look, I can't speak for nobody else's life, but it's only disrespectful <laughs> if if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if you're in a relationship with a guy and he likes other women and stuff like that, and he's telling you one thing, you know, he's acting another, yeah, why not be mad? I'll yeah, be mad that, too. Now, yeah, when he's telling you one yeah. thing and not doing the other. And, I, and that, But see, those are men that don't know how to be womanizers. Those are those types of men. There are men that do not know how to do that shit right. They be, be messy. They lead you into temptation, as you say. Mm -hmm. They don't have the right boundaries, all that kind of stuff.